To God be all the glory. This is a magnum amazing day. Lord God is so good. He has showered us with his unfailing love, grace, protection, and tender mercies. Another day, breathing his breath and spirit of life into our dusty bodies. Today is Monday, 11 4 20 24. And as I was doing my evening and morning devotion, what came to me was control. As this short video with love from the Lord's word is delivered, I pray and ask that the spirit of the living God will hide me behind the cross and that every word spoken is a lamp to guide our feet and a light for our path that gives our Father in heaven all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory that is due his just, righteous, and holy name. 1 Corinthians 9, 25 through 27 says, All athletes are disciplined in their training. They do it to win a prize that will fade away. But we do it for an eternal prize. So I run with purpose in every step. I am not just shadow boxing. I discipline my body like an athlete, training it to do what it should. Otherwise, I fear that after preaching to others, I might be disqualified. Control. Most people want two things, to be able to make a choice and to have control over the situation they're in. But what if I told you the only way to have control is to be disciplined enough to give up control? 2 Timothy 2. 3 through 5 says, Endure suffering along with me as a good soldier of Christ Jesus. Soldiers don't get tied up in the affairs of civilian life, for then they cannot please the officer who enlisted them. And athletes cannot win the prize unless they follow the rules. In everything we do, there are rules. Our rules the worldly rules and godly rules, the standards of our Father in heaven. An athlete cannot win a prize unless they follow the rules. Have you ever met or do you know someone who works twice as hard trying to get government assistance or stealing instead of actually getting a job? Someone who cheats on their spouse works twice as hard having a second relationship, hiding it instead of putting all of their effort into their marriage that has been given to them by God, making it a better situation. Have you ever tried to cheat on a test and got caught because you didn't follow the rules? It means you lack discipline to study for the test. Something else had control of your time and you didn't follow the rules of the administrator. What if you managed to cheat and didn't get caught physically? Guess what? God was looking at you, shaking your head as Jesus was standing at his right hand, pleading your case. Control. See, athletes test positive for performance enhancing drugs and are deemed cheaters have their medals or championships taken referees are caught cheating and are fired from their jobs and individuals who cheat on our lord and savior jesus christ will find themselves cut off from god our father in heaven see these individuals all have one thing in common there are most likely a group of people who know they are cheating. However, they all have to stand and receive their punishment or judgment alone. I'm talking about control. First Peter 5, 4 through 6 says, and when the great shepherd appears, you will receive a crown of never ending glory and honor. In the same way, you who are younger must accept the authority of the elder of the elders and all of you dress yourselves in humility 
as you relate to one another. For God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. So humble yourselves under the mighty power of God. And at the right time, he will lift you up in honor. See, when you follow the rules, you have a clear conscience, even though you might not have won the championship. You win because you know you did your best following the rules. The crown of integrity is better than the championship awarded to a cheater. Do you have self-control to follow the rules, to be obedient to the commandments of God, our Father in heaven? When you repent of your sins and turn to God, obeying his commandments and instructions, following Jesus and being led by the Holy Spirit, you learn that being humble and meek is the best way to have control. People can run and get over on you at any given moment, but who can run over and control God? Nobody. Don't allow other things to have control of your time. Be disciplined enough to give and have control of your time, giving it to reading the word of God then you give your time to other things and understand that the best control is making the choice to let Jesus be in control of your life following the rules and commandments of God our Father in heaven. I leave you with this 1 John 4 4 through 6 but you belong to God my dear children you have already won a victory over those people because the spirit who lives in you is greater than the spirit who lives in the world. Those people belong to this world so they speak from the world's viewpoint and the world listens to them. But we belong to God and those who know God listen to us. And if they do not belong to God, they do not listen to us. That is how we know if someone has the spirit of truth or the spirit of deception. God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit are one and are more powerful than the enemy, Satan, the ruler of all that is dark, evil, and wicked in this world. You are either trying to control the situation being controlled by the enemy or you are meek and humble and under the control of the Holy Spirit that's given by Jesus that was given all authority by God our Father in heaven do not be deceived thinking you're in control there are rules to everything either you're following God's commandments rules requirements and instructions or you're cheating in the end you have a choice on who is in control come to Jesus today Jesus is the word of God the faithful and true witness who has eyes like flames of fire and feet like polished bronze Jesus is the king of all kings and the Lord of all lords Jesus is the open door, the gate, and the good shepherd of all God's flock. Acts 2, 38 through 39 says, Peter replied, each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. This promise is to you, to your children, and to those far away. All who have been called by the Lord our God. Heavenly Father, I humbly come before you, giving you all praise, all glory, and all honor that you are due as the God of all gods, and there is none other but you. Lord God, I ask that you cover all houses, buildings, cars, and locations, hearing the sound of my voice with the peace of Jesus 
that surpasses all understanding. Lord, I ask that your angels be dispersed throughout the world to the four corners of the earth to protect your chosen people and that the mighty blood of Jesus will create a barrier, a hedge of protection around those who obey all your commandments and who earnestly seek after your heart, eating and drinking from the word of God consistently for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and who are praying without ceasing. Lord God, pierce our hearts and give us an unquenchable desire to have the same will as our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in that every situation we will say, we want your will to be done and not our own as we do all things with love. O oh Lord, the God of our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, make your people always want to obey you. See to it that our love for you never changes. O oh Lord, we adore you as the one who is over all things. Everything in the heavens and on earth is yours, and this is your kingdom alone. At your discretion, you make people great and give them strength so that you can receive the ultimate glory. Lord, allow us to receive the truth of the good news with an inexpressible joy so we can stay focused on you, being guided by the Holy Spirit as we seek eternal life in heaven, being doers of your word and not just hearers of your word. Heavenly Father, give us the wholehearted desire, the fear of you to obey all your commands laws, decrees, and instructions to do everything necessary for the good and will of your kingdom to produce the good fruit from the Holy Spirit. Lord, I ask that you keep us meek and humble so that we can stay down and not have to be knocked down. Lord God, please grant us the request of our prayers and provide us with all your mighty weapons to knock down every stronghold that is causing a barrier between our relationship with you, your chosen people, and allow us to stand firm on the foundation that is Jesus Christ, putting on the full armor of God to continue to boldly share the good news, being qualified and fit to enter your kingdom. Lord, we thank you, we love you, we honor you and we adore you. We magnify and praise your glorious and holy name. And in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Have a magnum amazing day and leave a legacy doing legendary things, seeking and loving God first through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ in all areas of your life and making a commitment to live by the word of God through prayer, faith, and obedience. Control. Our purpose is your blessing. God bless.